Hello and welcome to My Fusion Helper. My name is Troy Broussard, and in this short video, I'm going to show you our new Facebook Lead Ads Helper and how you can deploy it in your app to rocket up your lead generation in your business. It's just amazing the different results that we've seen with the lead ads compared to regular standard ads. And I'm going to go all through that. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to show you uh, some of the benefits and some of the interface. We'll also talk about how to uh, work with it in Infusionsoft, which is absolutely trivial. And I'm also going to give you some kind of pointers on where you can learn more information about Facebook lead ads and how to set them up. So let's go ahead and kind of start out with a disclaimer first, okay? So uh, not a lawyer and don't play one on TV, but I just want to make it clear here. I'm not going to have time in this brief video to actually train you on Facebook lead ads. So, you know, just understand that there is tons of information on it online. And I created a little short link here for you that goes directly to Facebook on their lead ad section on the web. So if you go to myfoo.net, me forward slash FB lead ads that will take you straight to a very informative section right in the help files of Facebook that will tell you all about getting set up and how to create them and everything else so that's the first thing that I want to make sure and let you know now I did want to give you a quick little guide though and when you go in and create an ad in Facebook what you're looking for is this selection down at the bottom where it says collect leads for your business. That selection in your ad creation process will start you on the path of creating a lead ad form that you can connect with Infusionsoft with our helper. Okay so let's go ahead and talk about a couple of assumptions that I I have. First of all, you know, the assumption is that you have a Facebook advertising account and that it's already set up and it's already working. If that's something that you need help with, unfortunately, that's kind of out of scope for support here at the help desk. That's really a Facebook training. I'd recommend doing some online searching on Google and, and on Facebook directly. And, you know, there's loads of courses out there that'll kind of help you get going with Facebook. The second assumption is that you already have a Facebook lead ad created and know how to use it. We're going to show you how to connect a lead ad to Infusionsoft directly via our MyFusion helper. Okay, but you already have to have the ad created in order to connect it. We're really the glue in between two systems. We're the glue in between Facebook and and Infusionsoft. So if you don't have the lead ad created, you won't be able to actually connect anything. And so that's kind of the assumption and uh, that's a part that you're going to have to kind of work through on your own. All right, so let's kind of talk about the process and what we go through here. Now, the first step is just going to be creating a Facebook lead ad. Then we're going to connect Facebook to MyFusion Helper via an app that we have that installs in there for you. Now, don't worry. This is an automatic process. There's a couple of questions to answer, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it here in this video, and you only have to do this once. That's the good thing. Once it's created and once it's connected, then you don't need to mess with it again unless something gets disconnected or unless you delete it from your apps. Now, after that, we're going to set up a helper that's going to glue those two systems together. And with the helper, we're also going to go through selecting some of our desired choices. And I'll walk you through that process as well so you know the pros and cons of your selections. I just wanted to show you that you have the ability to simply and easily disconnect our app as well. So if you go into Facebook and click on settings and then over on the left you click on apps, then if our app were installed it would be showing on the screen and you could simply click on it and click remove to uninstall it. Sometimes in the setup process you may want to uninstall it and install it again while you're testing things out uh, and that is how you do it. Another shortcut way of doing it is just going to the URL. If you see the URL on the screen there, it's facebook.com forward slash settings. And if you go to settings and then again, just click on the apps down the left hand side, it'll take you right into this screen. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into my Fusion Helper. And what we're going to do is create a new helper. 
and we're going to type in here for Facebook and we'll do the lead ads option. As you know, we also have the custom audiences, but we'll go ahead and do the lead ads. And what I want to show you is that before I start this, that it's not currently installed. So if I go here into our Facebook, you'll see that there's no app for my Fusion Solutions right now. So what I'm going to do is show you how we would actually set that up. So we'll go ahead and give it a name, Facebook lead ads demo and we'll go ahead and configure the helper. Now, when I do this, it's gonna immediately notice that I need to connect to Facebook. So right here, action needed, connect my Fusion helper to Facebook. All you have to do is simply click on this and it's going to launch the process. Now, it's going to ask you a couple questions. Do I want to continue on as Troy? Well, yeah, that's who I feel like today, so we'll go with that. And then, would you like to manage your pages and ads? Yes, absolutely. If you choose not now to either one of these, it's not going to install the app. So you need to say yes if you want to connect things up. And once I do, it's going to come right back in here to the Facebook lead ads configuration in our helper. And what you're going to see is that it's got this all set up and ready to go. So, so I can just come in here and type in my fusion and it'll go right to my account. And then from there, it's going to find the lead ads that we have. Now, we have one lead ad that's available inside of our MyFusion account. So I'll go ahead and select that. And what you're going to see now is it's going to give us some different options. And they're really quite easy. So there's only a couple of choices you have to make. The first one is where to save the full name data. And this is nice because Infusionsoft allows you to save into a full name field. And it'll parse that into first and last for you automatically. And then next, we set our email, which we'll just put that in the standard email field. Now, we've given you a couple other options here. And... This is really up to you how you want to set these up. You do not have to set them up at all. You can simply ignore tags. If you don't want to add a tag, you just say do not apply a tag. But if you wanted to apply a new one, you could say like a new lead tag. So we could go ahead and do that. Or you could apply a tag that dropped them right into an indoctrination sequence or right into a campaign that is uh, dedicated for your Facebook lead ads. Whatever you wanted to do here, it's totally your choice. Now, the last thing that we give you an option for, this is a little more advanced, and I'm going to go ahead and say uh, do not chain a helper right now. But what you can do with this is we allow you the ability to automatically kick off another helper inside of my Fusion Helper once you have added a lead ad. And that way it kind of allows you to daisy chain actions together. So maybe you're running a lead ad for strategy session applications for a high-end consulting offer and you want to be notified when that happens. And so maybe you chain it to a notify me with a free text message that alerts you when you've got an app come in. That's something that you could easily do by just creating another helper and connecting it here and chaining them together. Now, I'm going to go ahead and skip that right now, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on Create Helper. Once I've created the helper, you'll see that this is a little different because there's no copy link. There's no link that I have to put into Infusionsoft because we're really just responding to leads that are flowing into Facebook. So Infusionsoft is going to be on the receiving end, and as leads flow in, they'll automatically get triggered and put into Infusionsoft. There's really no link or configuration to set up inside of Infusionsoft. So as I said earlier, it's quite simple to do. Now, we do have a link here that'll take you to a test area. And we can create a lead ourselves and test this process. So, so I encourage you to play around with this and go through and go ahead and create a lead and watch it come through and make sure that everything is working properly for your end to receive the data correctly. Now, depending on what your status is here, if you've already tested one or not, you may need to actually delete it. So I've already run a test. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the, the lead that I had in there. So it says your lead has now been deleted. Okay, now I'm going to do a preview of the form. And I'm going to do a lead here that I'm going to test. And I'm going to show you first in my Infusionsoft account. So if I come in here to Infusionsoft and search for Troy plus FB 
and there's the lead ads one that I did before, okay? I'm gonna create a new one with FB lead ads two. So just so you can see that it's working real time, we'll come over here and I've got this one as lead ads two and I'm gonna go ahead and click submit and go ahead and close that and it says your test lead has been sent and I can come back over here and do Troy plus FB and there you go, there's my lead ads too. Just that quick and easy, it's in here, it's provided the information, I can see that it's put the data in first and last name and it also applied our new lead prospect tag that we had set and we are good to go. So this is how quick and easy this is and this testing tool is really important so that you can make sure that everything is up and running. So remember to do that, you just click on the little link here and that'll take you straight to the testing. And that's really all there is to it. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the practical implications of Facebook lead ads. And the first thing that I wanna say is that they augment your regular squeeze pages and landing pages. So more than likely you've got other Facebook ads that you're running straight to your own website squeeze pages or landing pages. And you know the thing of it is, like everything, you've gotta test it you're gonna get different quality of leads and different pricing of leads. Whether that's a good or bad, you've really gotta test it on your own and find out. I can tell you that it does vary by niche, but I've seen really good results with lead ads. It takes the barrier uh, down because they no longer have to type anything in. They can just click a button and give up their information to you. Now, the only caveat of that is that they're giving up their information that they used when they set up their Facebook account. And so what you might find is that the quality of those emails may be less than desirable, or actually it might be better. It really depends. You know, when you get a lead from Facebook, you, at least you know you're getting an email that was set up on a social platform and that is a usable email. A lot of times when somebody opts into a squeeze page, they may give you a throwaway email that they never, ever open. And so, you know, it really is something that you have to test on your own and see how it works, see what your cost per lead is, and monitor the quality of the leads between Facebook lead ads and your regular squeeze pages. Now, one of of the things that I like about it is that it keeps the traffic on Facebook and they like that. So because they like that, they tend to be less expensive, right? They tend to penalize you when you take the traffic off of Facebook and your leads through a traditional squeeze page are generally going to be more expensive than your leads through Facebook lead ads. Now, again, that's a generalization. There's many of you that'll prove me wrong on that point, but I would say in 70 or 80% of the cases, that's a true statement. So if you make them happy, then it makes you happy, right? Now, the other thing is that people tend to trust your ads more. And the reason for that is because when they click the ad, they're staying on Facebook. It's a Facebook ad. It feels like it's inherently endorsed and supported by Facebook because Facebook is letting you send them straight onto the list. And so, you know, they, they just tend to trust that better. And when you're sending them off to your site, you know, there's some people that just still don't quite get that or don't quite understand it. And as soon as they bounce off of Facebook, they just have an inherent distrust of your site. So that has a big ramification in the number of leads you get and, and the pricing of them as well. But we've certainly seen that people tend to give away their lead ads a lot easier than a squeeze page. So test it for yourself and let us know it, how it works for you as well. All right, so that's a wrap for this this video. My name is Troy, and if you need any help, make sure and reach us on the help desk at help at myfusionsolutions.com.